I'm Andy Pilgrim with Automobile Magazine. Welcome to another edition of Pro Racers Take. On this episode at the NCM Motorsports Park, we have the Toyota 86 GT, and I am very much looking forward to taking this one on track. As most of you probably know, the Toyota 86 and the Subaru BRZ were developed in partnership. Toyota, Subaru got together. The 86 gets the Subaru engine. It is a two liter, four cylinder boxer engine, less like a flat four engine, produces 205 horsepower and 156 pounds feet of torque. I was just checking out the window sticker, or Monroney, as I was informed uh, not that long ago. It's called a Monroney, actually. That's from Mike Monroney, a senator from Oklahoma back in the 1950s who started these window stickers on the cars to let people know what options there were. This particular car, the TRD options, are pretty healthy. Uh, the handling package, which comes with the Saks dampers and also the Brembo brakes, a TRD sway bar in the back, and it has the TRD exhaust system. Speaking of the TRD handling package, the Brembo brake calipers, we have four piston calipers up front here with a 12.8 inch rotor and on the rear you have a two piston caliper with a 12.4 inch rotor. The brakes, from the driving I've done over the last couple of days, the brakes are plenty good and it all rides on the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, 215, 40x18s all the way around. As you can see, the nice red sway bar is on the back of the car and the whole package is controlled with the Saks dampers that are part of that TRD handling package. This is a driver's car. This car is fun. It's fun just going down the road at 30 miles an hour and it is certainly fun when you get more spirited. I can't wait to run this thing on a hot lap. For a smaller vehicle, the 86 has a solid sized trunk. A couple of roller boards, a couple of backpacks, jackets, no issue. If you roll those back seats forward, you get a lot of room. You can actually get four mounted wheels and tires in there, plus a small trolley jack. That is a major selling point for enthusiasts that like the autocross or the track days. I like to talk about practicality on Pro Racers Take. This is a smaller vehicle, but it is actually pretty practical. I'm five foot 10. I'm in a reasonable driving position for me, even though it's a stick shift. Let's see if I now, another five ten person wants to get in the back. Let's have a look. Okay, got that, one foot in, climb in, roll in, put that back, bring it back to a reasonable driving position. I have got room for my knees. I wouldn't want to go across country in it like this, but it's actually very reasonably comfortable for a shorter trip. It's good. The 86 kind of screams performance in a sense for me. It's just a nice looking sports car. And inside, when you sit in it, the driving seat is very comfortable, very supportive for the uh, enthusiastic driving I've done so far. Feels good, the seat's good. Steering wheel, smaller diameter. I particularly like that. Feels nice in my hands with very few controls on the wheel. Always a fan of that. Gearbox, it's notchy, but it's precise and it works very well. Uh, it's, a, it's a good performance gearbox for sure. On the usability side, knobs for the climate control, Q switches, excellent. I'd I like that I don't have to go to the infotainment system for everything, but it has a nice little infotainment system and it's totally got the connected stuff that people like. And everything else is pretty straightforward. It's a simplistic interior and I like it. Okay, enough of the talk. It's time to take the 86 on track. Looking forward to this one. Let's fire it up. That TRD exhaust does sound pretty good. Actually. All right. Enough. fun doing the corner shots as I always do it's nice to do some drifting but only when you're on a racetrack so I decided let's run the Toyota down the main straightaway we've got a lot of room here at NCM just to give it a top speed run like a flying half mile if you like 
So I just ran it down here, sitting there, enjoying myself. Managed to get to 125 miles an hour. All right, let's go into the hot lap, guys. Coming down the front straightaway, coming into the one and one A complex here. Nice run in. You can see me hanging onto the gear lever sometimes. It's actually quite a bad habit. You can't do that in the cars that are actually pulling about one and a half Gs. But the TRD is such a nice car. You can sort of set it up in a nice drift coming in and you just kind of sit there. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. This was one of the fun corners, turning into turn five in this car. It just slides in a little bit. You see a little bit of corrections all the way through the corner. Not too much in the way of understeer or oversteer. It's a very nicely balanced chassis. I can flip it into seven. A little bit of turn it in. Cut it in there. The car moves around so well. It just gives you so much confidence driving this car. And you can use every inch of the track and you know that you're going to end up in the right place when you go into the corner because it's like a scalpel. Yeah, we uh, used a little bit over the top there, but uh, still within track limits. One of the main positives for a car like this is it's around 2,800 pounds. That little engine is just screaming along here. I really like that TRD exhaust system. That was just perfect across the top of 16. Into 17, quick downshift. The gearbox, I said, I said earlier, the gearbox is a bit notchy, but it's super precise. I don't mind the notchiness gives you the impression you're in like a real race car, which gearboxes are quite notchy. People talk about the lack of torque in this engine. I actually like it. You just have to keep it on the boil. I'm in third gear here. It's just quite high up in the revs, and you'll see me snatch fourth coming up, but it works for me. Because of its 205 horsepower, I'm absolutely flat out from way back exiting turn 21. point is have to get under the two minute 30 and I did just manage that great lap from the Toyota 86 GT I just came back off track with the 86 and I had a brilliant time out there with it but there's a point I want to bring up there aren't too many rear wheel drive stick shift lower horsepower cars for us to choose from anymore and I want to give credit to Toyota for giving us the 86 it is a complete blast high quality, fun to drive, and in my humble opinion, great to look at. Nice job, Toyota.